Hello, citizens of the internet, and welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft Hardcore. That's right, we are doing a hardcore season right now because I love hardcore. Love it. And um, I think a lot of you out there like watching hardcore as well. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. And just so you know, this is what I'm calling the welcome world because um, I, I wanted to do an intro and I didn't want to like load the world without you guys around. So um, yeah, welcome world. Okay, let's get out of welcome world. And we're going to go here and we are going to go to single player game. And yep, there's welcome world. And we're going to create a new world. And this new world is going to be Dad's G Hardcore S1. Okay, oh, not at that S1. How about that? And we are going to go to game mode hardcore. Yep, more world options. And let's do a seed. This is going to be subscribe to Dad's G. And let's see where this takes us as a world seed. Okay, this is exciting. You know, one of the, the most exciting parts is starting a new world. I, this is actually my favorite thing to do, is start new worlds and live those first couple days. So that's why... Oh, Whoa, did you see me? I was Steve for a second. That was that was a little creepy. Oh my goodness, look at that. We got a Mesa or Badlands right off of the bat. We have cows, sheep, horses. Uh, we have got a, a dark oak forest back there with mushrooms. We are in good shape here. We, it looks like we've got plenty of resources. We'll be able to get gold. We could use terracotta. And most important, we have sheep to sleep through the night because... Um, there are three things that are deadly to Minecraft players and hardcore within the first while before you get really good armor. And those are in order of difficulty. One, creepers. Two, baby zombies. Three, witches. So we need to take care of um, making a place for us to, you know, be able to reside safely for these first couple of days. So... Let's turn around here real quick. Okay, we got our camera view where we should be, and uh, let's get some materials. Um, I'm not going to sprint around, actually. Um, health is very important when you're playing hardcore, so we're just going to take our time over here and uh, punch wood. That's what we do. We punch wood in a hardcore Minecraft or any kind of Minecraft starter world. And we're looking for just this entire tree worth of blocks. And then we're going to go ahead and get um, some stone as well. So there we got a replacement sapling. So we can go ahead and put that down. We are green here on the Dad's Dad channel. We like to uh, keep our sustainable resources sustainable. And let's see if we get any food sources like apples or sticks uh, by breaking the leaves. And um, I've said this on a couple of my other videos before, but... Uh, it's a myth that if you let the uh, leaves decay naturally, you get better drop rates. Uh, you can check out Zuma Void's channel. He did the myth busting for that one. So we got one stick out of that whole tree, but I think this will be enough for us to get started. And we can come over here and we'll just dig a hole into the side of this right here. And we'll start a little mine that we can get some cobblestone out of. All right, go into our crafting environment, grab this. I think the way that I'm, I'm going to do this channel um, or this channel, this uh, season is I'm just going to play it in real time, um, kind of like a, a stream that's not a stream, uh, you know, something that we can just kind of go real time and I'll put the, you know, time or the days down in editing. Um, you know what? I don't want a hoe or a shovel. I needed to get more of these uh, little things here. Look, look at that. <laughs> That's freaky. Is it a cow? No, I'm, what am I doing? That thing is distracting me. Here we go. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, it's a horse, right? Um, okay. Excuse me, sir. That was... Excuse me. That's weird. Close encounter with a horse. All right. So we're going to get enough for a furnace and some tools to get started and if we find any cool ore along the way too uh, we will take that I decided that we would do this on uh, the most recent version at, at the time of this recording is uh, 1.16.5 
Um, I was hoping to do the snapshots, but they don't have the um, mountains out yet. Oh, look at that. Iron. Cool. We'll uh, get uh, some uh, tools real quick here and get that iron. Uh, yeah, so they don't have mountains out yet. And until they have mountains, um, I don't want to play in the snapshot. I want to go ahead and uh, um, just wait because you can't upgrade um, as it stands now an older world to the new version with the new world heights and the new biomes uh, for the caves and all that. So I didn't want to go ahead and do that. I figured hardcore would be a good world for us to play around in um, because if experience has taught me anything, I'm not going to last terribly long in hardcore. Um, usually it's the first time I take foot, uh, step into the nether. It, it's the end of me. So what we're going to do is we're just going to play as long as we can on these seasons and, um, yeah, see how far we can get. Um, ideally it would be being the dragon, uh, which I've never done in hardcore. So that would be really cool. But otherwise we're just going to build cool builds and, um, see what we can do from a survival standpoint in real time. So we got 10 iron. That is a good start for us. Let's go ahead and get, um, furnace going. We'll go ahead and put this down here. That's, and we can go ahead and uh, we'll just throw the rest of these in there. Get enough for shears. And we'll use the shears to uh, to shear the sheep. That way we can keep the sheep around. We want to hop up here too and just see where we're at. Um, if there's anything else around here we should keep uh, an eye on. Or uh, maybe there's something else cool nearby. Oh, like a, like a village right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me zoom in. There's the roof of a village. So... Um, um, yeah, change of plans. I think we're going to go, uh, check out that village, um, once we, uh, are done here because they have beds already and we won't need, um, any of the sharing of these sheeps. So let's go see what they have over there. All right. Grab all our stuff. I didn't expect to see a village so close. Um, I didn't, I thought that we went into a forest and there's usually not a village in a forest. So. That, that worked out pretty good. Let's go check out the village. And if there's anything you guys want to see too, uh, go ahead and put that down in the comments below. If you'd like to see me um, go for any kind of achievements or do certain types of builds for this series, I am wide open to the suggestions. I just, you know, ideally I don't want to do things that are super risky right, you know, away. Um, this might be a good place for our base, actually. Um, I'm just talking midstream here. Yeah, we will claim this as our own. There's our respawn points set. Um, it's always, I think it's always good to take the ones that are outside the uh, end of towns. A lot of times you don't get villagers showing up um, claiming that. All right. Got a nice stone mason table. We have a donkey. Uh, so if we get a wait, leather worker, we can um, go ahead and look at free meat as well. Okay, nothing in there. Uh, we have leather workers, so we can go ahead and we can level them up and get uh, saddles. Or sometimes, nope, sometimes they're in these chests. Now, the thing about this building right here is um, the leather workers. There's too many of them. Uh, there's there's too many of these little things. They take up all the professions. Okay, and we got coal <laughs> as well. This is this is working out really well. It's working out really well. We got potatoes. Um, we got this dandelion that we can use to um, hunt rabbits. If you haven't seen my um, attempt at doing YouTube shorts lately, I did a short on how to uh, to get rabbits in a we got a bee's nest right there. This is working out really well. Oh my goodness, look at that. We got a, a blacksmith as well. And I don't think, uh, yeah, there's a chest up here, right? Yep, there is. Okay, nice. This, this is working out really well for our first day of Hardcore. I'm very much enjoying this world. Ugh, so, so rude. There's tons of buildings too, and we have lots of hay bales that we can come back and get. Um, yeah, okay, nice. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that is probably the poorest chest I've ever seen for a blacksmith. There wasn't anything in there. <laughs> not a, not a thing, a lot of the workers. All right, so we have uh, kind of rudimentary armor. 
right now we can use. We've got a cap and everything, and that seems to be it for here. Pretty sure there was a um, there was a, a garden up there, a farm land up there as well, and I can't remember if there is chests in this one or not. Let's see, there's upstairs, the edge of the balcony. Yep. I turned one of these into uh, a base once, and it was fine. Um, kind of a kind of a weird build with that balcony area. I think I checked that out already. Having like a oh, don't want to run too fast here. Check out this one here. This thing is having kind of a forgetting where I was going already on these villages. Sometimes when you sprint around, and I can't remember. I think I got that one as well. So we have a decent place to start here. The sun is going down on the first day. And I think what we'll do is we'll play for um, maybe two Minecraft days per episode. So we'll go ahead and go to sleep and then we wake up in the morning. We can do some um, work to our house, which is back this way. They told you I got all turned around. Cook some food. I think I want to move here because the sun's going down quick. We don't want a uh, hostile mob to appear and uh, eat the faces off our villages or blow us up by accident. Okay, cool. Sweet dreams. I like those advancements. All right, anybody spawn in that time? No, looks like we got to sleep in, in sleeping time. Okay. So I think for our conversion for this house, we're going to go ahead and put a, uh, maybe a chimney out the back. Um, we could also pop the top or put a tower on this one too. Um, hmm. Hmm. You know what? Let's do both. Let's put a tower and we'll pop, we'll put a, a, a fireplace right here. That way we have a, a place to go up and look at. So that'll be our ultimate goal for this house. And we can do a two wide fireplace since this is two wide here, which means we'll take this out in the back. Let's make some, a couple other tools for us just so we have, um, you know, something we can, it doesn't take us too long to uh, break these uh, boards and stuff with. So let me run here, the ax, put you right there and We'll use our um, stone pickaxe here like this. Take this out. And we'll probably end up removing these sides too eventually. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to take this up a bit. And we're going to take this wood off of here on the sides. And we'll replace that with stone. we we'll go ahead and put that there like that. And I think what we're going to do is... Do I want to come in one? No, I don't think so. I think what I want to do is I want to put stairs here and then we'll put our uh, furnaces right here. And if you've seen any of my series before, I, I actually love doing this design. So I put a furnace down here, then I put uh, fireplaces above, or fireplaces, uh, campfires above them. And we use those to uh, cook meat and um, whatnot, other types of foods. So come here and we can put two stairs down like that. That way we can always access the furnace and see it. It's a little animation if it's cooking. Um, and we will go here and let's see, what do I need? Oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna make another furnace. I'll put you there, that. And this will go right here. I'm gonna need more stone, but, um, and more wood. So let's go ahead and get the wood too. Kind of just rattling on, so sorry if that's becoming a bit much, but I'm um, kind of also seeing this as a uh, practice for doing my first stream, which I've been wanting to do for a while. i uh, been kind of nervous about doing it because I, I honestly don't know what I'm doing with the stream. Uh, if I'll be able to read comments and, and not get blown up at the same time, which I imagine is one of the harder aspects of streaming. So where do I want to get stone from? Probably over here where we have that coal as well. So we can go ahead and um, put some stuff in here. This, uh, don't need you right now. Um, I should be smart and put um, 
the um, leather armor on. You know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to be smart and make myself a shield. Let me go ahead and get those campfires going too. I don't want them just kind of rattling, like I said, rattling on here. I'm going to do that. And we'll get, um, need enough. There we go. And we got that. And I need charcoal. Uh, did I grab the charcoal? Did I put it in here? Huh. All right. Let's go. Oh, I never got charcoal. That's right. Here we go. Let's go ahead and grab the coal over here. We can start getting some more stone as well. Good news is we have plenty of um, hay for bread. Like that. We'll go ahead and get some of this so we can get our iron smelting as well in one of the furnaces. And um, we can have um, some of the fireplaces going for our two pork that we found magically sitting there. I think it was probably a glitch where a poor little piggy got spawned right too close to the uh, to the fence and at his demise. I think we're going to need a ton of this, so we're just going to keep going probably until this pickaxe breaks. I don't know how much you guys like watching other people mine for resources. <laughs> Um, but you know, I, I weirdly find myself watching a lot of videos where, uh, uh, I do like watching streams where people are just kind of like mining and talking and there's something relaxing about, uh, this activity. I think, you know, when, uh, Notch created this, he was, he was onto something, probably didn't realize how popular it was going to be by a long shot. Uh, but the idea of being able to have an open world uh, where you can, uh, just do, you know, simple tasks and, uh, let your creativity uh, build whatever your heart desires would appeal to all ages around the world. And I think that's that's really cool. That's a really neat legacy to have. So let's keep going until this, this is almost out. So once this uh, pickaxe breaks, we'll go over and keep working on our house. At least when it's sealed off. I'm not sure how much I can get done today. And there we go. All right, get over here real quick. And with the mason nearby, we have access to red sand, which I hardly ever um, have access to because I hardly ever find mesas anymore. All right, so let's go here and we're gonna do two campfires. Um, yeah, I have enough logs, All right? We can do, do one like this. There we go. And I think you mix logs. Let's see. Yay, you can. All right. And we'll do the back out for that right now. Come off the sides here and then two are on the back like that. And we might as well just keep coming up. Like this. And that might be fine height wise do I want to do that it might be fine like that actually let's see we definitely need to put something else here um, maybe like a regular just a log there or a plank an oak plank I think that might look better um, and then we can keep on coming up with our thing here and of this go up like that. We'll have that going off the side. Might be kind of weird if I did that. But um, yeah, all right, let's drop down. Oh, should have thought about that. We're in hardcore. I, use, I'm, I usually don't play uh, recorded in hardcore, so I'm a lot more careful not running around as much. Um, yeah, so I think what we'll do, actually we'll just do that. Won't look as good. But at least, you know, consistency-wise, if you come up here, you won't, you won't see it. Okay. Now, we can put our furnaces, or our furnaces, our fireplaces, or our campfires down. I, I constantly am messing that up. All right. And let's go ahead and get our iron out. Smell the rest of these. 
There we go. Okay. And I did say I wanted to do... Yeah, that's enough. I like how you can mix woods too, like this, so if you don't have um, all of one kind, it doesn't matter. Um, and we have our little shield. Might as well put our leather armor on and our shield. Yeah, alright. We're getting there. Uh, we got one armor point. Okay. Let's go ahead and we'll get some more of these. And I know I could go over to that stone cutter's table, uh, save some resources, but um, it's alright. I think we'll go ahead and just put it like that for now. That way we can still get all the, the pork, which we can get that cooking, and we can get our potatoes cooking too. I'll, I'll keep, um, I'll put four down, I'll keep three in case there's not potatoes on the farm and we need to regrow these, so. You just go ahead and right click down and cook yourself some baked potatoes or jack of potatoes if you're in the UK. All right, there is that. And in terms of a tower, Oh, wow. That is the quickest I think I've been visited by a wandering trader before. Let's see what you have, sir. I have no emeralds currently. Where did you go? Did you go to my house? Okay. Um. Oh, here you are. Okay. Oh. Oh, vines. Vines would be good. Um, green dye. Hmm. Uh -huh. Hmm. Nah. You know, you're more, um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm sorry. This is a pro move. Uh, this way you get leads. And, uh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Oh, you're, you're worth more to me as leather. I'm really hurt to hang these guys, too. There we go. Okay. Leads and leather. And, and that brings us to the end of the second day already. Wow. I did not do much that day, did I? Oh, man. Did you see that? Well, shoot. I guess we're going to make this building look different now. Um, there we go. <laughs> okay, I think what I might do is put the tower out this side, but I think we'll end up doing that in the next episode. Um, if you've enjoyed what you've seen so far with this hardcore world, I, I know we didn't do much. We just kind of set up a little base and uh, viciously killed a wandering trader for leads and leather. But you know what? In the long run, it's worth it. This is hardcore. We do things differently in hardcore. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen and like to see more, then uh, click that like button, smash that subscribe button, and press that notification bell for upcoming episodes of the Dad's Guide in the future. And please, you know, let me know in the comments what I should be doing in this series and if you like it. So uh, until next time, bye for now.